Plymouth, the city I represent, at least part of it, has a long and very historic connection with the armed forces. Uh, go back to the time of Francis Drake, go through Nelson, to the 1944 Normandy landings when young men and, and women, very few of them, but women went um, across to Normandy from many nations, um, right up to the present day where we have young men and women serving in Afghanistan. We have them serving on the front line there and sadly and tragically on occasions laying down their lives for their country. We also have um, people serving out in the Horn of Africa fighting piracy. We have people um, in the Caribbean tackling drug smuggling. So at every level uh, Plymouth is engaged and supportive of our armed services. We also have some incredibly special people, the families of those servicemen and women, um, who stay behind, who worry, quite understandably, but who are absolute rocks to their, to their serving um, members, whether it's the Royal Marines or the Navy. And, and to them, I'd like to say a special thank you. We in Plymouth will say a massive thank you to our serving personnel. We are the National Centre this year for Armed Forces Day and we are incredibly proud um, to be privileged enough to have that honour. And I hope um, when people around the UK see the pictures from Plymouth, they will share in, in our collective pride of what our armed forces do uh, in terms of supporting and serving our country. So thank you all.